Well, greetings, friends. Thank you for joining me again today. We're going back to Psalm 34. And again, this is a time, if you look at the heading there, it's implied that David is fleeing from his enemies before he's king. And it's important to see how he's feeling during that time. Now, on Monday, we looked at taste and see that the Lord is good. Yesterday, we looked at fearing the Lord, honoring him. Uh, today, I want to look at the eyes of the Lord being over those who are righteous. In fact, in verse number 15, it says, The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. Then in verse 17, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Peter in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, he quotes this verse. And I think it's important for us to, uh, to recognize, especially as believers, that God is listening and watching over us. Whenever we run into troubles and difficulties, He is there to help us because He sees and He hears when we call out to Him. You know, I'm thinking of a, a mother that has a newborn in the home. You know, sometimes we men, we kind of sleep through the, the crying, but the mother, when she hears that little baby cry and, and just a little peep, she's up there to check to make sure everything is okay. Well, that, that's kind of the way God is for you and I. If we just cry out to him, he's there to help us. Just a little peep, just a little help. He's there to, to come to our rescue. But then in verse number 16, the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. You see, not only does the Lord see those and hear those that are righteous, but he also sees those that are not doing right, that are evil, that are yielding and following the ways of the flesh. So I want to encourage you, my friends, you know, you can, we can escape the eyes of people and, and do things that no one else knows or sees, but God always sees and he always hears. So I want to encourage you today, my friend, let's be one of the righteous. Let's be one of those that, that are obedient to his word, that follows him. And I will tell you, if you cry out to him, he will come to your rescue. But if you're not following him, he also sees that and we must fear him because there is judgment that will become. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.